what is going on at the Vatican? Um, the Pope was <laughs> these bizarre videos. Um, this one comes from Ian Miles Chong tweeted this out. Uh, the Vatican has lost the plot. What's going on with the Pope? And, and it's like a freakish, huh? <laughs> weird dance. Yeah, let's play this clip. This oh is just, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, I have no words. I, I can't even believe that this is happening at the Vatican. This is makes <laughs> such a mockery of the church. Um, mm. I'm shocked that circus? this is allowed. Sorry, say that again. Is it the circus? Yeah, I don't even know what it is. Um, it's some sort of show that the Vatican <laughs> had, um, was hosting. But it's just, uh, you know, having scandally clad adults prancing around the Vatican just seems so satanic to me that the, the, the whole scene and the situation, if you want to go and have go to the circus or go to these shows or go see a performance on your own time, then have at it. But this is supposed to be literally the holy grail of yeah. of God and Jesus Christ and you're making a complete mockery of it. Um I mean it's unsurprising we have also this CTV news article on the pope uh where he calls it a point of no return. He challenges leaders at UN talks to slow global warming before it's too late as though governments can control the rate of of um warming of the climate. Pope Francis shamed and challenged world leaders on Wednesday to commit to binding targets to slow climate change before it's too late, warning that God's increasingly warming creation is fast reaching a point of no return. This is just appropriating religion for a really bizarre climate alarmism agenda. And uh, I don't know, I don't, Pope Francis, for many years has been, you know, engaged in really weird conduct and said some bizarre things. Um, I don't, I just don't think this is an appropriate stance for the Pope to be taking. It's not an appropriate topic for him to engage in and to use the reference to God's creation. This is, I don't, I, I, I'm lost for words after seeing that video coupled with his comments on this. It's it's very disturbing, um, and I think it's really turning a lot of people away from Catholicism and religion as a result, which is obviously counterintuitive to what some someone like the Pope should be doing. And what is his qualification for claiming like those claims, like saying that almost like there is a point of no return? It's it's what I really find shaming from media or, or other like. It's like gathering the voice of so many people who are not qualified to claim those things. And afterwards, that goes straight to the mind of the people as as much as if, if, if it is a fact. When it's not a fact, those people doesn't know anything. Can we actually speak with scientists? I don't want to see the political report. I want to see the scientific report. I want to read it. I want to see what it's, it say on it. And I heard them talking about the, the real result and not like in the alarmist way. 
Yeah, well, and it's all based on this faulty modeling. And that really came to fruition and was highlighted and heightened by the COVID pandemic, because likewise, the pandemic predictions were based on faulty modeling that never came true, or had really weird parameters and inputs. And so the same thing can be said for the climate alarmism as well. It's all based on these faulty models and predictions. And as we see repeatedly, like peak oil, uh, these predictions never come true. Hey, I got to tell you, I'm going on a cruise with a whole bunch of rebels. We're sailing out of Fort Lauderdale on March 23rd, 2024. That's not so far away, less than six months away. A gorgeous trip around the Caribbean. Paul and America line. Boy, is that luxurious. And we're going to bring some of our favorite rebel talent. Sheila gunn Reed. David Menzies, and can you believe it? We're actually bringing Tamara Leach with us, and you are invited. That's revelnewscruise.com.